Good day, YouTube. It is the 3rd of September, 2022, and I'm going to do just a quick video here. This is an update on my 99 Chevy Tracker. I've done a few videos on this. I brought this home from Central Oregon, um, paid 500 bucks for it, was supposedly had a engine that had expired. Um, the guy said he burned the oil up and burned the engine up. And I bought it with full intention of a winter project to uh, replace the engine or rebuild the one that was in it. And then when we got it back, realized the engine turns over, that it was full of oil, and um, turns out timing chain was junk. So I bought all the parts. Um, typically I would fix it myself, working huge hours out of town. So I paid a local mechanic to uh, do that. We threw water pump at it. Of course, you know, just, you know, tune up service, air, air filters, that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, when I got it back, it was, uh, running pretty good. Um, not great, not perfect, but running pretty good. Um, and it didn't take long and the check engine light came on. So, um, I, uh, pulled the negative post off battery, reset that, um, drove it around a little while, check engine light came back on. Um, I put my code scanner on it. I think we did a video on that. And it come up something on the order of... Uh, catalytic, inefficient, or something like that, which I assumed was the catalytic converter's plugged. That's what it really seems like. Um, so I was pretty sure I was going to put a catalytic converter on it, pulled the negative post on the battery, and reset the light again. And uh, I drove it to the Oregon coast on a Sunday. Um, it was good until I left the rest area and I really poured the coals to it. Um, and the light came back on again. That kind of confirmed that for me. Um, uh, before I left on that little trip, I put my second can of seafoam in the gas. I'm a very big proponent of seafoam. I'm not sponsored by them or nothing, but um, the stuff just works. Um, so again, that was a, I put the second can in when I left that morning um, on a full tank of fuel, full can of seafoam. And, uh, you know, came back obviously with the light on and continued to drive it and uh, my dad and I would go to the stock car races every Saturday night and on my way back from the stock car races that following Saturday um, I hit the gas good and hard to uh, get back on the, the highway you know just getting out in front of some other cars and uh, it, it kind of made just a little hesitation and then it started running much improved and, and then when I looked down the next time the light went out and it has not come back on since it's been uh, three weeks ago and so I filled it up again put another can of seafoam in it can number three and it's just I'm not saying it's perfect yet but boy it really runs good um, very very happy with it so um, we just got back um, from the tire store so I had a set of Cooper Discovery 83's put on it these are the same tires I have on my Super Duty. And my Super Duty is dirty, but yeah, we got the same tires, uh, you know, different size, obviously. I think these are 265, 75, 16s. You may not be able to see them very good, but I actually have them on the back of my step van. These are big dogs here. Um, 305s or something. I can't remember just what size those are. Anyway, I got a couple different rigs with these tires on. So the stock tire for the tracker is a 205-7515. Hopefully that shows up. That's the original spare. And uh, we went up to 235-7515s, which is uh, all you can put on a Gen 2 tracker. When we put tires on my Gen 1 tracker, we went to 215s. I didn't want to go real big. But the bigger you go, the more tire options you have. So at 215, at 225, you don't have, you know, as many tires to choose from. So I only had like three I could look at for this. And my criteria is I like raised white letters, sorry. Um, and I, I need a snowflake tire. I don't want to have to be made to chain up. You know what I'm saying? So these are snowflake tires that raise white letters. Um, I have two other rigs with them, so I'm familiar with them. I have another video when I put those 
the same tire on my Super Duty. And I've had a lot of real positive uh, feedback on these tires. And this is going to be like our winter toy. This is what's going to get us to the snow and the ice, the bad weather, and the etc. Um, a little more room, you mean for traveling. If I'm just going to go play, well, we'll use that one. But if we're going to travel in it, we're taking this one. So that's its uh, destination, right? So Cooper discovered AT3s. There we go. All right, that's a quick update on the tracker. Got some parts have come in for it. I like to keep uh, oil filters on the shelf. I like to keep air filters on the shelf, etc. Even ordered wiper blades. Get all this stuff from Amazon because I'm lazy and the stuff shows up and it's cheaper. And uh, we've got parts for uh, these things that I own that I service. I have to admit my modern cars, I take it to the Jiffy Lube places or whatever, but the ones I service, I like to have everything here all the time. So if I need to service it, nothing stops me but time. And this will need front brakes. I got brake pads, they showed up yesterday. Guys, this was just gonna be a quick little update on the Chevy Tracker. I'm waiting uh, for uh, Mako paint store to put paint jobs on sale. I joined their email list. I'm just waiting for the notification that their paint jobs are on sale. We're going to take this and get it repainted. I almost did that with the black one, but uh, the way I use that, I just didn't want to because I didn't feel I'd use it like I used to use it. But the red one is going to get painted as soon as it's uh, more affordable, anyway. Guys, thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and a thumbs up on the way out the door if you wouldn't mind. And we will catch you guys on the next video. I'm going to unhook this thing and go take it for a drive with its new tires.